In this second video, we're going to look at how we can use uh, images in a more advanced way uh, and explain everything. So as before, we'll go to the plus symbol and we'll just get a blank canvas in explain everything. I'm going to go back through to our camera roll and we'll just choose uh, some images. So I'm going to um, just pop in uh, an image of the earth like so. And uh, you can see I've chosen a transparent image. You can see those little check boxes around the outside of the earth. And uh, all that there is um, a transparent area. Uh, so anything that comes behind that when I bring it through to the main page, uh, we'll see right through it. And you'll see how that will have a nice effect uh, in a few moments. So I don't need to, to uh, crop anything out or lasso any areas. That'll come through just quite nicely as it is. Um, but I do want it to be a bit smaller, so I'll just move the earth uh, to just one side. I'm also going to bring through uh, my image of the moon, like so. I just tap done again. There's the moon. Now I want to uh, bring in that uh, nice background image uh, that I've got here as well. So I can do that by just choosing the uh, galaxy, like so. I'll just hit done. Now we can't see uh, now the uh, image of the. Um, Earth and the Moon, and that's because the image is hidden behind uh, this uh, sort of starlit sky that we can see here. What we can do, we can just touch our little eye, the inspector on the left-hand side, and then tap onto the uh, page like so. And if we go through to uh, arrange, we can do things here, such as uh, send it to the back, so those two things become in front. You can also edit it so you can group these things together and what have you. But the option I want to do um, is to set it as background. Before I choose that set as background option, I'm just going to tap away and I'll choose my um, select tool. Now because the image of the stars isn't uh, ooh, quite scary, that. Ooh. <laughs> isn't set as a background, uh, it does move around. So I want that to become a completely static thing. So if I go back onto the inspector and just tap onto the uh, image I want to be the background image and I can choose from the little menu set as background by doing that that now means that I can move my finger around on the blank area where the stars are and it won't move around if I try and move the moon and what have you then no problem at all if I try and move the background nothing try the earth earth moves around moon moves around but nothing else so that's quite nice so what I'm going to try and do now is just show how we can have some animation here. So all I've got to do is then just um, basically record myself animating the various elements as I talk over the top. So that might look something a little bit like this. So I hit record. The moon travels around the planet Earth again and again with two rotations every 24 hours and this is what causes the tides that we have on the planet Earth. And then we have our little animation. Some slightly more advanced techniques there in working with images within Explain Everything. Thank you very much.